Hello children, Leah ma'am is here with a new video. So in the last video, what did we study? Do you remember? Yes, we studied about the first chapter, isn't it? We completed the first chapter. And what was the chapter's name? Do you remember? Yes, air, water and weather. Okay, so you completed writing the notes. You finished writing? Did you study the notes? Okay, so those who didn't do it, you should complete it by the next class. Okay. So children, we are starting a new chapter in this video. And the chapter's name is Saving the Environment. Okay, what is the chapter's name? Saving the Environment. Okay children, now can you see this picture? Yes, you can see a boy standing on the middle of the road. Isn't it? So, will you help me to name this boy? Okay, we'll think of a name. Um, okay, we'll name him Apu. Yes, did you like the name? We'll name him Apu. So children, you can see many things surrounding Apu. Yes, can you see it? Okay, there are many buildings, many trees, yes, many plants. Okay, many things are there surrounding Apu. So, can you see a blue house behind him? Can you see it? Ah, that is Apu's house. Okay, so there are many things surrounding Apu's house. And this is his neighborhood. Okay, so children, we can say another name for this. Okay, that is environment. So what is environment? Environment refers to the surroundings that we live in. Okay, so what is environment? Environment refers to the surroundings that we live in. The surroundings that you live in is also called as environment. Okay, the surroundings in which I live in is environment. Okay, children. So, there are many things in the environment. We can classify into living things and non-living things. So, what do you mean by living things? The things that live are called as living things, isn't it? So, the things that live are called as living things. These, th these things, they grow, they have their food, yes, they breathe in gases. Okay, so now we can discuss some examples of living things. So, can you see these animals? Yes, what are they? Yes, the ones with white and black stripes. What are these animals called? Yes, they are zebras, isn't it? And the other one is a deer. Okay, all these are animals and they are living. They have their food. They grow. They have babies also. Okay, so all these are living things. Now, can you see this picture? There are many birds in this picture, isn't it? You can see some parrots, peacock. Okay, so all these are living things. And children, can you see this picture? Ah, there are many plants here, isn't it? Many plants are there. And there is a tree also. So all these are living things. They grow, isn't it? They grow and they prepare their own food. Yes? Do you know a gas that the plants use to prepare their food? Yes? Do you remember that? Ah, carbon dioxide, isn't it? Carbon dioxide is used by the plants to prepare their food. And where do these plants prepare their food? Do they have a kitchen? Yes, they have one in their leaf, isn't it? 
the leaves have kitchen in them and they prepare the plants prepare their food in that kitchen okay so these are living things and they grow isn't it and uh, children do you know what all things does the plant need to grow we need food isn't it we need we eat food we drink milk yes to grow isn't it so plants also need some things to grow and what will be those things can you tell me yes sunlight water soil okay all these are used by the plants to grow okay children now we are going to discuss about some non living things okay so what are non living things you tell me uh, the things that doesn't grow are called as non living things they don't live isn't it they don't live they don't grow okay most of the things are man made okay so children we can some discuss some examples of non living things so all these given in this picture are non living things okay there you can see many buildings here isn't it so all the buildings are non living your house is non living school hospital post office police station everything is non living okay then you have furnitures furnitures like sofa table chair then desk bench all are non living and there down you can see many electronic devices isn't it these are mainly used by you nowadays isn't it so laptops tvs computers mobile phones so all these are non living and can you suggest some a few more examples of non living things yes okay books yes headset yes headphones earphones mic everything is non living okay children so did you understand about living things and non living things okay so children living things and non living things together constitute our environment <clears throat> isn't it so all these things are interconnected okay the things in our environment is interconnected and if one thing is destroyed or damaged it affects the whole environment okay if a tree is destructed if we cut down a tree it it affects our environment okay many things many birds or animals that depend on the tree to live or for food everything okay they do get affected okay so everything in the environment is interconnected okay so children you tell me what is environment yes okay so environment refers to the surroundings that we live in and living things and non living things are a part of the environment okay okay children so if in so we finished today's class okay so in the next class we will study a new topic okay children bye